Hi friends! Today we will learn about the greenhouse effect. So let's start. We will first be learning what is a greenhouse. A greenhouse, glasshouse, or hothouse is a type of building or structure which is heated using solar radiation. It prevents the loss of heat due to convection, conduction, and radiation, and stays warm even during the cold days of winter. It is used to grow plants during the winter season. It essentially has a glass or translucent plastic walls and roof. They are constructed so that plants get enough heat and warmth and they stay warmer. Now why do they stay warmer or how do they stay warmer? This is what the greenhouse effect is all about. Let's learn. Light rays from the sun, which are in the form of short wavelengths, enters the glass roof of the greenhouse. It then heats the plants as well as the ground inside. Now the heated up plants, as well as the ground, emits infrared radiation, which have long wavelengths. Most of these long wavelengths radiation are not able to pass through the glass roof or are not able to escape the glass roof. Instead, they are reflected back into the greenhouse, thus warming up the greenhouse or retaining the heat contained in the greenhouse. Thus, the glass covering acts as a barrier that allows heat to enter the house, but does not let the heat escape and gives a warmer atmosphere to the plants. The heat of the greenhouse releases gradually during the night. So, this is the greenhouse effect. Our Earth has a similar insulation layer that keeps the Earth warm. Now, we will be learning about this insulation layer of the Earth that keeps it warm, or the greenhouse effect of our Earth. Now let's learn more about this greenhouse effect of our Earth. Let's start from the sun. We know that we get heat energy from the sunlight, but there happens to be a lot that keeps the Earth optimally warm, neither too hot and neither too cold. Earth has an atmosphere around it, that is, a layer of gases surrounding the planet that protects and sustains life on the Earth. This atmosphere insulates the Earth so that it doesn't freeze at night and it doesn't have a very high temperature during the day that cannot be tolerated by life. The ozone layer is a part of the atmosphere that protects the Earth from the sun's ultraviolet rays. That is, the ozone layer filters out the solar radiation and doesn't let the ultraviolet radiation, which is not good for life, enter the Earth's atmosphere. Now, what happens to the rest of the radiation that reaches the Earth's surface? Solar radiation is able to pass through the various layers of the atmosphere, warms the surface of the Earth, and then the heat arises from this heated surface of the Earth. If all the heat radiation was able to escape the atmosphere, our Earth would become extremely cold. But thankfully, this doesn't happen. And the heat radiation is trapped by gases present in the Earth's atmosphere. And those gases which trap these heat radiation is called greenhouse gases. Because of these greenhouse gases, only a small amount of heat radiation is able to escape the atmosphere. The most abundant greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons, and hydrofluorocarbons. It's because of these greenhouse gases that our Earth doesn't become freezing cold at night. If there were no greenhouse gases, all the solar radiation that reaches the Earth will escape Earth's atmosphere at night, and Earth would have been freezing cold at night, and no life would have been possible on the planet. Now, where did these greenhouse gases come from? 
Greenhouse gases come from various sources in the environment, like decomposition of our food waste, construction of buildings, electricity production, agricultural land use, industries, transportation, and many other sources. And the percentage release of greenhouse emissions from these sources vary from country to country. In some part of the world, 25% of greenhouse gas emissions can be from electricity production and 20% from agriculture processes, 20% from industries, 14% from transportation, 7% from food waste, 6 from buildings, and 8% from other energy sources. But it is not the same for all parts of the world. There might be a different percentage of greenhouse gas emissions from sectors. In all parts of the world, the most important greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, where 72% of the total emitted greenhouse gases is carbon dioxide. Those greenhouse gases reflect radiation that the Earth emits and prevents them from being lost into space. So, the greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon which is beneficial for life on Earth, as it maintains the optimal temperature for the life to exist on Earth. Without the greenhouse effect, the Earth's average temperature would be around negative 18 degrees Celsius, or even below, on which life would not be possible. It is because of the greenhouse effect that Earth's average temperature is 14 degrees Celsius, or 57 degrees Fahrenheit. The greenhouse effect was first proposed by Joseph Fourier in 1824. Mars, Venus, and other planets with atmospheres also have the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse gas effect is especially strong on Venus because it has a more percentage of carbon dioxide. And this is why Venus is hotter than Mercury. Now, can you answer the question why Venus is hotter than Mercury, though Venus is closer to the Sun? Because Venus has more carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, so more greenhouse effect, or more retaining of the heat, so Venus is hotter than Mercury. Now, we have learned what is the greenhouse effect and the advantages of this effect. Let's learn some disadvantages of the greenhouse effect. As we know, the most important greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. And out of these, the most important greenhouse gas that humans add to the atmosphere is carbon dioxide, which is less than 0.4% of the atmosphere. When humans use a large amount of fossil fuels, there becomes an excess of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and the air holds more heat, which leads to global warming. Or there is an increase in the greenhouse effect, which is not good for the atmosphere. So we know that release a lot of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This leads to the greenhouse effect, or an increased temperature of the Earth, which is not good for life on the Earth. Rather, humans are not only adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, they are also reducing the absorption of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by plants. As humans are continuously cutting forests or deforestation is occurring, this is leading to a decreased absorption of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, which is also contributing to the global warming. So what have we learned? We learned that the greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon that retains heat in the atmosphere and maintains a good temperature slash optimal temperature for the life on Earth to exist. Let's revise what we have learned. We learned that the greenhouse, glasshouse, or hothouse is a type of building or structure which is heated using solar radiation, and this is used to grow plants during the winter as light rays from the sun, which are in the form of short wavelength, are able to enter the greenhouse, but the infrared radiation, which is emitted by the heated plants and ground, have a long wavelength. These are not able to escape the glass roof, and thus gets trapped inside the glass house, and keeps the house warm.
This is the greenhouse effect, and this is why a greenhouse, hothouse, or blast house stays warm. Our Earth also acts like a greenhouse and stays warm. As solar radiation is able to enter the Earth's atmosphere, but all the radiation is not able to escape the atmosphere. The radiation is trapped by the greenhouse gases present in the Earth's atmosphere. And because of the trapped radiation, the Earth does not become freezing cold at night, as if no radiation would have been trapped by these greenhouse gases, all the heat radiation would escape the Earth's atmosphere, and the Earth would become freezing cold at night, and no life would be possible on the Earth. The most important greenhouse gas of the Earth's atmosphere are water vapors, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons, and hydrofluorocarbons. And the most important greenhouse gas, or the most abundant greenhouse gas, is carbon dioxide. Greenhouse gases come from various sources, like decomposition of our food waste, construction of buildings, electricity production, agricultural land use, industries, transportation, and many other energy sources. And the percentage release of the greenhouse gases from these sources vary from country to country. Without the greenhouse effect, the Earth's average temperature would be around negative 18 degrees Celsius, or even below, on which life would not be possible. It is only because of this effect that the Earth's average temperature is 14 degrees Celsius, or 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So friends, today we learned what is the greenhouse